Nathan is David's right-hand man. He's his uh, personal uh, prophet and his mentor. And he's the man who was brave enough to tell him, Thou art the man, when he had the incident with Bathsheba. He came to Nathan, saying, Go and tell my servant David, Thus saith the Lord. Uh, David has uh, just sent Nathan to the Lord to get some material, some information about building a temple for him, a house for him. So now he tells, Go and tell my servant David, Thus saith the Lord, Shalt thou build me a house for me to dwell in? That's the question he asked him. Now he's asking it back to him. He said, Shall I do that? And then he begins to explain it. Whereas, that is, because you did that, there's uh, something you've got to consider. Whereas, you have to consider that, I have not dwelt in any house, that's certain, since the day that I brought up the children of Israel out of Egypt, even to this day. He never asked for a house to be built for him. What you call the house of God is a church building. The Lord never asked for one. What they call the house of God is a temple or something uh, in Mecca. The Lord never asked for it. I brought up the coach, children of Israel out of Egypt, even to the day, but I've walked in one, a tent, which could be what, two, a tabernacle, which could be what, three, a temple, finally. Now, it's essential that when you teach your pupil this passage, you show them that the temple that's uh, built by Solomon and then destroyed by Nebuchadnezzar and they rebuilt under Herod and destroyed by Titus, and then rebuilt after the Christians are taken out and destroyed by the devil three times, is not called just a temple, but a tent and a tabernacle. Now, do you know why it's imperative for you to call that to the students' attention? Because there's some talk about uh, if the temple has to be rebuilt before the Lord comes, then it isn't anywhere near the Lord's coming because it would take uh, several years to rebuild the temple. It wouldn't take 48 hours. You say, why? It was a tent and a tabernacle. And you'll find James telling that to the body of Christ in Acts chapter 15. And they already they already have the material for it in a dozen places, and all they've got to do is just get it all together and have the permission to build it, and it's going to go up, and it could go up in 24 hours and then be in finished building later in uh, heavier material. But it is called not just a temple, but a tent.